with me, K-Wife. I am back with another Weekend Warrior episode. And because it is October, which is Halloween month, I've decided to do a game that involves zombies. So, um, actually, Captain America, I'm going to put on hold for a little bit. And I do plan to come back to that at this point. Um, but we're going to wait till after we kind of do some of this game because uh, we're just going to do this game for fun because it's October. So, I don't know how many of you guys have heard of this game. It is called... Let me see if I can get this name right. Check Canabra. Hey, huh? Hey, hon, how do you say this name again? Oni Chambra. Oni Chambra. I'm sorry. I thought the first letter was a C. Oni Chambra. Oni Chambra Bikini Zombie Slayer. So, um, I'm actually not going to pick any girls that have bikinis at this point. <laughs> well, I mean, I may have to to do a storyline later on, but uh, they have different outfits. I'm definitely going to go with the most uh, conservative outfits just because who knows what kind of kids are watching this. And yeah. Anyway, so. And who needs, who needs, you know, bikinis to have fun? We're gonna have fun just because we're killing zombies. Yay! Alright. So, we're gonna go with this girl because... Ah! Okay, there was that other girl. Sorry. Okay. We're gonna go with this girl. Here we go. Alright, so we're gonna go on normal difficulty. And actually, K-Wing um, uh, leveled up my character a lot. So, thank you, honey. And uh, we're actually gonna start on level one. The Bloody Wheel of Life. Yay. So, happy uh, almost Halloween, everyone. This should last, I think, all month, but depends how it goes. So, my character's name is Saki. Each character has their own story. And, um, I think her, her voice is very cute. When I first started playing this, um, I was a little, like, Whoa, this is, you know, kind of crazy, but it's actually a lot of fun. Yeah, she's got her little story. It's very, it, they all have their backstory, and uh, I, I believe there's two good guys um, and two bad guys. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> this is one of the good guys. Uh, there's another good girl. Or, actually, they're all girls. I'm just pushing A to kind of skip through it so I don't see it as much. But I do like the visuals here. They're, they're pretty cool, but um, this is definitely... Uh, no, not the kind of happy game that, you know, I like playing, but I actually do like this game a lot. It's very fun. And as you can see, this some pretty, pretty straightforward controls. Once you get the controls, I mean, it took me a little bit, but once you get the controls, actually, it's a game you can kind of just pick up because you pretty much just walk around and shake your Wiimote. All right, so hopefully I think I changed the uh, blood to purple, so it's not as bad. <laughs> so she's saying she's going to use their blood as her own power. <laughs> Interesting. So, I... It's hard for me to follow the story of this, but definitely it's really cool that the story kind of continues through the whole thing, so... All right. I like this. I like this girl. I like playing as this girl. It's my favorite, just because she's kind of short and little, and I'm kind of short and little, so I can relate. I always forget. I have to. Uh, so it's pretty much just shake your remote. And uh, one thing cool about this girl is, uh, it's just kind of a fun beat 'em up. What's cool? You can p push C and put your sword away, and you can kind of get them. But, uh, yeah, I mean, sometimes I don't, like I was saying, I don't like violence, but, you know, if you're fighting on the right side, then it's okay, and zombies are always bad. <laughs> zombies are always on the dark side. So, I don't know what, um, oh, I think I go this way, so I'm gonna ninja run this way. There we go. 
Ah! Ninja run into wall. Ninja run into wall. Oh, hi, honey. Hi. Hey, Wings here to kind of. Oh, yeah, and, um, you know, I. I was just thinking, I was telling K-Wing, oh yeah, that's right, because a long time ago, K-Wing and I, well, I didn't actually do this, K-Wing did a review of this for a DVD, but well, probably most of you guys have not seen that, so I'm going to get my sword out. This is no fun, just punching. Ow! Oh, I guess my blood turns purple too, which is very interesting. But yeah, um, our our good friend and uh, fellow Game Station member, well, not I wasn't part of the Game Station, but... Gaming was. Uh, you're game, nights. game nights. Oh, hello. We are on the game station right now. Um, <laughs> game nights member Nick Huggett was the one who kind of like was like, oh, you should try this one. You know, try to do it for the review and and uh, I actually had a lot of fun helping uh, K Wing record the footage when we did two player. So I think that was a pretty good choice. Um, yeah. I like this game. Yeah, go ahead. You can keep playing. Do you want to know the story behind why he wanted me to do that? I have no because it uh, because he wanted a uh, a kind of mature rated game on here. Yeah, he wanted an M rated game for the DVD, the Renegade Reviewers DVD. But since everybody took so long to do their project, and it was supposed to come out in December, and I had already done the review of um, Mushroom Men. Oh right. Um, they wanted something more recent because the DVD didn't come out till like March or April. Oh, so I see. Yep. This this game came out in like February or March, and then I just played the game for like I don't know. We played for probably six hours, threw together the footage, and did the review. Yeah, definitely. I I remember we had a lot of fun when we did this together, and I liked it because it has girl characters in it. So, girl power. Some of these zombies are pretty uh, scary, but one thing that we have against them um, is that we are fast and they are really slow. So they kind of walk towards you really slowly. And I kept thinking the arrow is like where I'm supposed to go, but it's like, no, the arrow is where I am going. Map system. Yeah, it's very, it's interesting, but at least I... And, and that's the one thing, if I... If, if I'm having trouble, it's usually because I'm getting lost. Like, But usually it's kind of like you go into the screen, you kill a bunch of zombies, and you go into the next room, which is, you know, pretty simple. I don't know if I can do some of my other cool moves here. Let's see. No, I'll have to wait till... I don't know. It's It takes me... It's easier for me to waggle, um, you know, and just waggle and move my, uh, you know, the... the um, Ah, what is whatever this round thing is called on my nunchuck that I move around. Directional pad. Command, no, not command cross. Directional pad. On my uh, nunchuck, but uh, actually I know there's a, a lot of really other cool moves that I want to show you guys, but eventually I will. Let's see. So. Alright, I killed that box, yay. <laughs> But uh, I do like that. I do like that caving. Um, and I'm glad that you leveled my character up because uh, I like being leveled up. I feel very powerful and strong. And um, if you see like the little sword over there on the left, it has like blood on it, and that makes your sword not hit people as much. I believe. I'm pretty sure that's it. It gets stuck in the. Oh yeah, so that's kind of disgusting. So yay, you know, how sweet. Oh, whoa. Oh my gosh, what did I do there? Oh yeah, and I also forget I have my other my other moves, which are like one... No, no, I always forget what my shooting moves were, my special moves. <sighs> so actually, so here, I'm just gonna get the blood off my sword so it doesn't get stuck in the zombie. So I'm gonna hold down B and go like that. Yep, and B and swing my remote. So, here we go. <laughs> there! There's one of my cool moves. So this is kind of a fun game to play, like, during Halloween, it's not as crazy, crazy horror. The other, the other horror, the other halloween game I was thinking of, which we actually don't have, is that, uh, lo uh, no, no, it wasn't that one. What, what was that one that I was thinking of that was like, you, you, you start the game and you're already dead and you're walking through the snow and you have to figure out what's going on. But that one's kind of creepy, so I'm glad we have kind of oh, a more fun Silent one. Silent Hill? Yeah, Silent Hill, that would be kind of an interesting game. And of course, That's you know. That's pretty cheap now. We could probably pay Yeah, that. who knows, you know? Hey, if we need another. If this game gets over really quickly. Now, I'm gonna do my, um, my other moves, so I'm gonna try to. 
This is some of my other moves. Level's over. Oh, is it? Oh. Oh, I beat it too quickly. Next area. Oh. oh. Almost, almost over, yeah. And uh, another thing I really like about this game is the uh, the music is really cool. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I guess we kind of have the music low when I'm playing this, but you'll still be able to hear it. So we, you know, we always play the music from our games that we're playing. So I know some. I've I've seen some LPs where I mean I don't know if they're I don't know how how many of them do this, but I've seen other people play different music while they're playing. But I we always do the ga the game from the actual music from the actual game. I was gonna say the game from the actual music. It's like, whoa. That doesn't make any sense. This this blood almost looks pink to me, which makes it more happy. <laughs> happy blood. <laughs> happy blood. Okay, the one button and swing your... Alright, so I'm gonna try a super move here. Thanks, hon. So I'm gonna hold in the one button and swing. Alright. Oh, I lose my health, so... So, actually, oh yeah, I have to wait for my little meter on the left to fill up, and then I can try, I can try my uh, nunchuck swing super move, so. So I'm pretty sure there'll be more zombies popping up here, so actually I'm gonna put my sword away and try punching a little bit. Just because I'm sick of slashing them. It's a, it seems less violent to punch them. So actually, I have it on, you can have it on several different, um, screens like I have it on three right now gaming likes it on one um, so you know like right now I'm, I'm pretty close up on her but you can have it so she's kind of farther away so you can kind of see more things in the picture so it's not you know as crazy let me see if I can do you want to know what's funny yeah what, what is funny hun this game has better graphics than Captain America on the Wii yeah, that's, that's a 2011 game. This is a 2008. Yeah, this is true. But you know, hey, everyone's so that. Oh wait, now I always forget how to do that. There we go. Got my ninja rundown. One thing I do like about this girl, she's the only one who does that, and she's the only one who punches. Which I think Kaywin got a kick out of that, that she could punch. Because uh, the other girls, yeah, she does a falcon punch. Let me see. There. Oops. <laughs> Whoa, I think I went into rage there or something. Oh, maybe also, is it if you get too much blood on your sword, do you go into rage or something? Oh, I don't know. Only on her face. You can see her face getting covered in blood. Oh, Picture. so if I get if I get too much blood on my face. Yeah, I mean, I could understand why that would make someone go crazy to have their blood. I mean, their face full of blood. Their blood full of face. Man, right, what is wrong with me today? It's telling you that you're dripping blood as you run. Oh, that's disgusting. So. Let's tone down. Yeah, yeah. Oh, really? Is there another version of this one? It's a whole series that's exclusive to Japan. This is oh. only the second game to ever be released outside of the states. I see. So I wonder how or I can how I can uh, not get so much blood on my face. Oh, really? Oh, I'm supposed to get it on my face. Well, at least it's purple. It's pretty. It's pretty blood that's on my face. Well, how could you not get it on your face? You know. Yeah. Oh wait, where is it? Yeah. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I see it. Yeah. Cyclone. How do I do that? See? Oh, really? Oh, I have to kill these guys and then I can get rid of it. Oh man, this is not working out. I'm not doing very well. Less violent because the way you punch them, it's like they keel over. Yeah, they they look like they're in pain. It's it's very sad. Yeah, I agree. Oh my gosh, I have it all over my hands. Oh, look at that. Now, oh my gosh, my hands are dripping, so now I have to get the blood off of my hands. Ugh. Gross. Ugh, so disgusting. I'm so glad I've never run into a zombie in real life. That would be pretty gross. But now I know how to, uh, how to get rid of them in case that ever happens to me. Seeing gaming is so useful in life. You didn't want to get rid of the blood? Uh, which, how do I get rid of the blood? Go to the blue statue. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait a second. Oh, right! Is it down here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I totally forgot about that. Yeah, we're not doing Brawl tonight. I'd okay. rather put this up. This oh, thanks, hon. Thank you. Well, I'm having a lot of fun. And I do like it when you kind of cameo. A lot of people say they like it. But this is really weird. I mean, that looks like Mary and 
I don't know. That, that looks strange. Unless that's a pagan statue, but that kind of freaks me out. Like, it's like, eh, this is not church. <laughs> The Japanese are more tolerant and respectful of other religions than people are in the States. Well, there is a, a whole thing where you have to respect each other's religion. Um, I mean, I know I'm, my my grandfather was in China for many years. He was a doctor there. And, and uh, even though, you know, he wasn't Buddhist, he knew that you had to respect, you know, the temple and you couldn't, you know. And it, that was the kind of thing where you should respect other people and what they believe and not not knock it and not call them foolish or stupid or you know if you're supposed to not put, have your hat on in the temple then you don't just like wear it and and purposely you know offend people so it is a very interesting uh, today there's not a lot of that it's kind of like oh well i don't believe that so i can make fun of that it's like no it's someone's you know someone's uh, core beliefs you know their their faith is is sacred so you know you have to respect other people so people I, are just perks. they like to ridicule everything it's just all bullying yeah but uh it's bullying. you know it's a different it's a different now people are saying you know oh well you can't say your own opinion or you can't have a faith well no that's not it it's just they don't even understand that you can have your faith and you can talk about it you just have your faith and eat it too. <laughs> exactly. You can have your faith and eat it too. Oh, well, probably not. That's probably not not a great You're line. having a lot of fun with this guy. <laughs> I I am, you know. There you go. Yay! I think that girl looks so cute. Saki, such a cute name. All right. Well, that is 17 minutes. I don't know if I can keep playing for another one more level or. The boss is quick. All right, so um, I'm gonna play the boss for you guys, and then um, that will be it for this. Oh, I forgot. Push A. I think I remember, like, alright, we'll try to increase vitality. Alright, I guess there is nothing to increase. So, chapter clear. But it does kind of counteract it. I, oh, yeah, what a cute what a cute picture to look at while I'm waiting. Slash it with the Wii mode. Save current game progress. Yes. Yeah. Oh, you know, I keep forgetting. I can slash that zombie with my Wii mode. Uh, game exists. Yes, it's fine. Proceed. Proceed, Captain Nida, whatever. Oh wait, normal. And level two, so. So here you're gonna meet the bad girl, who is interesting. Let me see if I can hear this. Oh, I'm sorry, I accidentally skipped over the story. Sorry guys, I know you wanted to sit there and listen to that for, for a long time, but not. <laughs> so. <laughs> but yeah, that, I mean, that is pretty gross, like the the bottom half of the zombies walking around, it's pretty disgusting. I like when in the later levels they walk by themselves. Oh, that's gross. But I have known, um, K-Wing was actually, I went out to the movies, uh, cause sometimes I like to just go see a movie, and K-Wing is kind of, he likes to, you know, just hang out at home. I'm, I always want to get out of the house, I'm like, oh my gosh, I want to go somewhere. So, and I actually saw a movie today that was like, kind of gory. I didn't know it was going to be gory. I thought, oh, because all the commercials, I thought it was romantic and it looked really cool and action. And then I saw it and it was like totally gory. And I should have known by the rating, but... And by the time that I got in there, there was like... Like I was telling gaming, there was like... There was like eight other 40-year-old men there and me. It was like, okay. <laughs> uh, so anyway, yeah, I think that movie had more blood than this one. <laughs> I, I don't even want to tell you guys what the name of the movie was that I watched, but uh, I'm so embarrassed. But I did like the first part of it. Alright, so I saw- okay, I don't know if I should- now I put your appetite. Uh-huh. I don't know if I should tell them. That's gotta be a painful outfit. Oh, her? The, bla the girl in black? Yeah, I mean, it's gotta be squeezing her in all areas. Ah! Okay, I need to put like a thing up there. Nobody look. Put Over your eyes. Put like a... I need to put like a... Uh, a black bar over that. Do you want to kill her quickly? Hold in the one button and shake Oh out. yeah, you're right. I'm going to kill her quickly. Die! Okay, you got her. You got her. Stop draining all your health. Oh, good. She's dead. Mean. Be so mean. Yay! I beat the level. Yeah. Oh, yay. Awesome. So, anyway, I guess we are done with this stuff. I need to put, like, a... 
thing up there. Nobody look. Cover your eyes. Put like a... I need to put like a... Uh, a black bar over that. Do you want to kill her quickly? Hold in the one button and shake the Oh up. yeah, you're right. I'm going to kill her quickly. Die! Okay, you got her. You got her. Stop draining all your health. Oh, good. She's dead. Me. Yeah. You guys all have a great uh, weekend. Hopefully there'll be another episode of this up uh, tomorrow. And I uh, will see you guys next time. Until we... Hopefully. Hopefully another episode tomorrow. Hopefully. We will do our best. We always do our best for you guys. Alright. Till we meet again. See ya!